In today's masterpiece, we have only one goal, to use an army of chickens to destroy everything in front of us. And you know it's going to be a good day when we start armed with a giant machine gun. We have little chicks up front, attacking with their beaks, and chickens in behind with rifles, shooting from a distance. The goal is to get to their spawn point and absolutely wreck their lives. And so far that's pretty easy. Once that's done, we get a fish and some gold. And we can use that gold in the items we pick up to upgrade our individual units. A thousand dollar investment will take it from 50 to 60 attack damage. Plus it just looks like the most intimidating creature on earth. Then we're right back into it level 3. But I'm feeling pretty unstoppable. We're not gonna let ourselves take any damage. We're gonna make our sacrificial lambs take the damage. They're really hitting with a big army. I do have some abilities so I can charge forward and gain some shield. They're starting to bring in the big guns. We have archers with hats on. I also need to be within like 2 meters of these guys to be able to actually hurt them. So this is actually getting intense. I rushed forward with the shield and destroyed all of their archers. But this is gonna be an uphill battle. But this is nothing we haven't dealt with before. As long as I can stay up front a little bit using my sacrifices, or we're going to pile up gunners on the rear and they're going to wreck these guys. Progress is a slow march forward, but we'll get there eventually. I don't care how many idiots we need to sacrifice. And it turns out the archers, when you get close to them, they get absolutely destroyed. We made it to the base of operations. We should get a good reward once we finally destroy this thing. Just to show them who's boss, I'm going to charge right into them and destroy them right in their face. And this time we got a very realistic kitty. We also unlocked a chick. It might not be doing so well, but apparently it's got a very strong carapace. I feel like this is going to be a tank, so we're going to give it extra health. And for only $2,000, I can upgrade my Doom Chicken. We went from 80 to 112 damage. And that means I pass the damage on to these guys. We're going to back up a little bit. I don't want my main chicken to get hurt. And we got some zombies spawning in the rear. <laughs> they walk along, flopping their little wings. They'll definitely tank some damage for us, though. That means I can sit right about here and shoot everything. Well, the zombies slowly get torn apart. I didn't know zombies actually makes a huge difference to our army. We're already starting to pile up tons of damage. We got another zombie coming in to replace it already. We have several zombies now. We're absolutely just marching these guys down at this point. <laughs> and we're already straight into their base. And we're gonna absolutely destroy it. This was the easiest level yet thanks to having zombie chickens. Well, since the zombies are so strong, I'm going to give them an extra 20% damage. They went from 120 to 140. Then for this, all we have to do is survive for 4 minutes. And nothing's even attacked me for the first 10 seconds, so this will be easy. And all they're doing to defend themselves is throwing one naked idiot at us who's holding a fork in either hand. Uh, I know I'm supposed to survive for 4 minutes, but I already found their building. Okay, they're throwing out the big guns now. Clearly, they're getting desperate. They're going to throw all their idiots at us. <laughs> Joke's on them. I brought zombies. So we got a fishbone, 1,200 gold, and some diamonds. So I'm going to spend 4,000 gold upgrading my main chicken again. 112 to 144 damage. Then I'm going to add some critical to my gunner chick. Because I feel like if anyone needs a little extra critical chance, it's the ones holding their rifles. The idiots come armed with knives now. And actually hats and aprons. So for the first time, they're not completely naked. So that's an improvement. They're actually doing quite a bit more damage because of it. Okay, we need to get through to the archers. If those guys can shoot us, we're in trouble. Luckily, I upgraded my super chicken, so we should be able to fight through this. Especially once our gunners pile up on the rear. They have a secret weapon. They have big idiots too. I thought I was the only big idiot in existence. We're gonna have to work extra hard to try and take that one down. But as long as I have my row of 12 gunners back there, I don't think anything's gonna stop us. They're so stoic. They never even blink, even in the face of impending doom by machine gun. They can try all they want. There's just no stopping this army ultimately. We're gonna destroy the house before we even destroy them. I like how they get sacrificed with the house. And we've gotten what appears to be some kind of lizard. A reaper. Rip and tear your guts. Uh, these obviously have a lot of damage, so they're definitely going to be added to our units. I'm also going to add a further 20% damage on top of them, and 20% damage on top of that, just to be sure they really hurt. They do a full 320 damage, almost three times as much as my rifles. And what better way to put that to the test than surviving for four minutes against the weakest idiots known to man? Naked these things. My reapers are making their way to the front. They should help get through this extra quick. Yeah, so far I feel like they're mostly just finishing off. We do a little bit of damage to these guys, the reapers come up and just decimate them. So I feel like we're going to tear this building down in record time. They're sending their defenses out one at a time. There they go. Now they're starting to figure it out. But I think it's too late. We're already basically inside them. And we're not stopping to ask for directions. We haven't gotten an apple yet. That's got to be good. But you know what's even better than apples? Murdering more creatures. So I'm going to spend some time doing just that. I like how we can tell which ones are the strong ones by the amount of clothes they're wearing. I guess I'm one to talk though. My chicken's not exactly fully dressed at this point. Okay, I'm going to try and charge into these guys. The closer I get, the deeper I penetrate. So I've got to stay close to the front lines. But I do also have three reapers on the front lines now. So they'll help chew through absolutely everything in front of us. I'm getting a pretty big mob of idiots in front of us. So we're going to charge forward, get some shield and blast through them. Everything in this game just looks so good. 
It's like they hired models for everything. We very quickly made it to the building again, and all my reapers are gonna really destroy that. I think we got six of them right now, and you can tell by their health bar. Another empire destroyed. I can use the microbe we just got to increase the max population by one, which means we can have more of them on the ground doing damage, and I'm gonna upgrade my super chicken from 144 to 176 damage. Doom chicken. I feel like everything I create is a doom something. Whatever we make, just put doom in front of it. At least that's my goal. We hit that thing pretty hard. That might have been a crit because we almost one shot at that first one. I really like these levels because of how short they are. It takes 10 steps to walk right into their base and then they're completely boned. They do get desperate at that point and throw all their idiots at me, but if I'm this close, my bullets hit all of them at once. And if they hit me back, I just take a few steps back and let my idiots take all the damage for me. They're really throwing out the numbers now. Ultimately though, my gun penetrates everything. I'm also going to add 20% damage to my littlest of chickens. That's going to take them from 60 to 70. That's not necessarily a huge damage increase, but they try really hard. And they just look amazing, so they get to be amazing. They're basically a meat shield anyway. They simply exist so that I don't have to do as much damage or take as much damage. They just charge forward, absorbing all the hits for us. They do do just a sprinkle of damage before dying, so they help. Not as much as an enormous machine gun, but they help. We made it to their base in 40 seconds. I don't know who's strategizing for them, but they should probably be fired. All you have to do is sit here, and I hit all of these idiots plus their building, and they can't do anything about it. Our riflemen are also going to get a 1% crit chance upgrade again. Because you can just never have too much range damage going towards the enemies. They're getting a little quicker though, that one actually made me step backwards. That will be a short-lived thing though, we just have a lot of damage going forward. It's now a war of attrition. Unfortunately for them, I don't care about any of my units and I'll happily sacrifice them for years. Their base is in sight, I've got a good feeling we're gonna win. Having all the reapers we do probably helps, they're doing a ton of damage. And before you know it, their base is half dead. Make that 70% dead. Or I guess just all the way dead. I've also unlocked a new ability. Slam forward and push three enemy stooning for three seconds. Since we're going to have that extra ability, we're going to upgrade to level 5, 176 to 208 damage. I don't think I, I even can use my stun at this point. I've walked right up to all the enemies. Wow, they're actually starting to hurt me. So this new stun thing could maybe be overpowered considering we knocked the enemies that far back and then they get stunned. Plus it regenerates pretty quickly, so whenever there's something annoying me, I'm just going to drop kick it over the horizon. Like if I don't feel like dealing with all these guys, we can just go like that, and then we're just left with one weak archer standing there being an idiot. And eventually they'll group back up again, but I can just stun the whole group at that point. We can just keep knocking them back. Like, these guys are annoying me, so we kicked them out, then we had one stupid archer to deal with, and he died. Those guys got pushed back so far, they were right off the map. Now we can just sit there and destroy their base, basically laughing at them the whole time. They are starting to do lots of damage in return, though, like if I walk into that horde, I might actually die. Luckily, we've got lots of sacrificial lambs we can throw at them, so I'm not worried about it one little bit. Pretty sure, even if they did manage to push through my units there, I could just step back like this, and then go like that, and then they're out of the way again. And then they have to watch helplessly where their whole base, their entire family gets murdered. Okay, they're pushing forward, but I'm just gonna back up a little bit. They've gotta go- oh, actually, we can just go like this. Oh, we can only push so many of them at a time. All right, that's a lot of idiots coming my way. We're gonna back up slowly and take them out as we can. We're gonna need more damage. We're starting to make a little bit of ground back. I <laughs> pushed some of them back, but that's only gonna help for a sec. Not really sure what I could have done differently there. My strategy so far has been walk forward. Walking backwards doesn't seem to be doing it for me either. I guess the goal on this one is simply to survive for 4 minutes, so if we can survive for another 90 seconds, I think we have victory. Uh, we're going to go ahead and push those guys back, because then we'll be closer to the archers in a moment. And the archers are the ones that are going to do some damage, so we just need to get straight to them as soon as we can. Okay, we got close to some archers, and I got wrecked. I'm not sure if changing the battle unit order matters, but we're also going to upgrade uh, our basic guys again just a little bit. They have more attack and HP. And then we're going to go to a level that's not about surviving. It's about kicking in their door and murdering their children. We're getting a whole bunch of them at once, so we're just going to go ahead and push them back. So far, so good. We just need to whittle down these idiots. I pushed their front line out of the way so we can hopefully just walk into their archers in a moment and start killing them. The biggest thing for me is when I'm calling the Goldilocks zone. I gotta be not too far away, but not too close. I basically need to be behind my meat shield so I don't take damage, but I need my bullets to penetrate maximally. And when too many annoying things get in the way, we just push some of them back and then we can share. See, sitting right here, this is exactly where I need to be because I can even hurt the archers. I can hurt so many different creatures. We just move those guys back and then we're right up in their business again. And once I get all of my slasher guys right on the building, they have no chance. And for destroying their empire, we get a clock and some gold. I'm going to upgrade my slam ability so now we can move four. Now we can move five enemies. You know what? Now we can move six enemies back. And I'm pretty sure that's just the upgrade we needed to make this work. 
Especially now that I can stay right in the Goldilocks zone a little more comfortably. Plus I feel like being able to move six of them back is actually going to be huge. We made it to their building already. Their building's pretty tough this time. But if I'm sitting sort of right here, I'm hitting them all too. So my damage is helping in a big way. Okay, here they come with all their numbers. We're going to knock as many of them back as we can. They kind of sucked me in like a vortex there. So we took a bunch of damage. But as long as I'm sitting here, I'm hitting them all. And that's actually helping us out in a big way. They might actually overwhelm me here. So we're going to start backing up just a little. And once I get to my Rifleman, we're going to push a bunch of them back and hopefully stay right in their face. So it must be something like the longer time goes on, the more they're allowed to spawn because they didn't have this many numbers to begin with. And if I try and use my pushback ability now, I think they're going to get enough damage on me that I'm going to die. No, we got some of them pushed back. We're mostly down to their archers for a second, so I'm going to try and push them back. Never mind. I thought I could flip the archers away for a sec. But that's okay because we're going to upgrade our tankiest of units from 2100 to 2400 HP, plus they get more damage. And then it's right back to the fighting on new levels hmm, they're really starting to pick up their numbers game they figured it out they realize they need to send more than four naked idiots toward me to win that's a lot of archers my meat shields aren't faring so well against that many archers but you know what we're just about to the point where i can start to kick some of them back and then we can make a whole bunch of progress even without my idiots we're gonna do that same thing again and we push them way back and this is actually going to be a really good opportunity to do it again. Look at them all in the way. So we're going to get right to those archers and go. Yeah, we, well, we pushed everyone out of the way of the archers. And then we're right in their base again, where their archers are just slowly getting back to battle now. But we built up our numbers pretty strong by now. We've got all of our riflemen in the back. I don't know if we can push them when they're that. Nope. When they're that close, we can't actually touch them. But we can still murder them. Heroes see damage. I like that. So my hero's crit damage is up by 5% because we got a rare drop. Then I think I'm also going to upgrade my riflemen. They got a little bit more damage out of that. They don't really need any more health because they're not tanky anyway. They're not supposed to get touched. We just need as many of those trophies as we can find. Then we don't need helpers anymore. We can just mow everything down with our giant machine gun. That one's holding spoon, so we know he's going to be extra, extra dangerous. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and push them back. There's a big spoon wielder. I should have used my ability on him. He's actually seemingly absurdly strong. You know what? <laughs> Let's go ahead and push him out of the way for a sec. That'll give us a second to actually uh, bring up some of our forces, which we badly need right now. The naked bald things are getting serious. So we might have to step up our game. We're going to push them back again because we can. That feels unfair. I think we can just keep doing that and we'll just slowly build up our forces by doing that. And then we'll be able to take out the spoon man. Every time they get close, we push them back and we get ever closer to their base. Plus, I think we're building up riflemen the whole time we're doing this. And riflemen are going to do a ton of damage. And push. Oh, the spoon one got left behind. They're actually taking a lot of our riflemen, but we're able to push them back. So we'll be able to move forward and uh, build up our numbers just a smidge. Spoonman has has returned probably for the final time we're probably you know what just for fun <laughs> just to annoy him we're gonna push him back i've got to be really careful not to take any damage though even the little spoon guys hurt a lot so if they get to do any touching i'm in trouble but i think we got most of everyone dead i can't charge forward here the archers are gonna hit me i think and then i'm gonna die okay now we have a whole bunch of our very strong units on the big spoony guys so i think we're gonna be okay yeah we're absolutely tearing them to shreds this time so we'll be right in their base before you know it and we're gonna move them out of the way just so we're sure to get some damage down they threw out a guy in a chair holding money i don't know what to make of him yet uh he He's absolutely destroying some of our littler units, so we might have to back up and sacrifice some riflemen here. I don't really know what to do here. He's firing big poison clouds at us. I need more of my frontline units to get here so we can push forward a little bit. Uh, this is a strange turn of events. I didn't know they had whatever their unit was. So that's going to be just a little bit difficult. I don't know if that can hit me or not. I'm getting low on health. But I'm still supremely confident. We'll just slowly whittle them as we move backwards. Because that thing isn't very quick. So if we can build up our numbers, we'll be okay. It's just a little bit tough at this point. Because I would like to sort of go like that without taking too much damage. And we'll hopefully get to that thing. Uh, they're doing so much damage in return. It's very, very hard to survive. Gonna try and get in there amongst the poison cloud. I thought I could sneak in there. That's okay. Because while we're waiting, we can take our newly upgraded units into this area that's going to be a little bit weaker uh i guess especially if i can just go like that and just sort of push them all the way to the end and then i just walk forward and put my giant machine gun right in their faces and then they all explode all right we're gonna do that again okay that guy we couldn't push back but you get the idea they're really throwing up the numbers now they're desperate but so am i at this point we need those upgrades more than they do and they're really only mostly knife wielders there's only a vocational fork and no spoonies yet so we're gonna be fine plus our super chicken does so much damage and it obliterates everyone in 
in front. Oh, they're starting to get tough. Okay, we're going to push them back. They sucked us in a little bit, but we're going to be okay. We've regrouped our forces. We slowly whittled them down and got through their archers. Now we built up a huge army for ourselves and we're pushing forward, although we got 10 seconds left to survive. I think we're going to be okay. We have pretty much a full army now marching forward. Like, as soon as they get to whatever they're fighting, it absolutely <laughs> destroys them, and those things are tough. I'm definitely going to upgrade my tanks at this point. They're going to do lots of extra damage and have lots of extra health, and including fish on top of that, 3,000 HP. That much extra HP for our tanks is going to be huge, because that means we can all do that much more damage before they die. So even when the big Spoonie Boy comes in now, we should have lots of damage to start messing him up. Although there are quite a few of them, so we're going to push some of them back so we can focus on the little guys for a sec. And that seems to be working. We are decimating their little army, including their archers. Big Spoonie's back, but we're more able to deal with them now. And since he doesn't have a lot of support, we're just going to go right on through him now and push everyone else behind him back instead, like this. Because then we can march basically all the way to their base with all of this damage, so we'll take a big chunk of their health away. And then if I sit here in the Goldilocks zone, we get to murder everyone all at once. There is literally zero of them on the board for a second. And while we're doing this, our tanks should build up more and more. Their big gassy guys come back now. I think we might actually be able to get the building down though before he actually hurts us. If not, I will boot his wheelchair over the horizon as well and then we'll see what happens next. Okay, we gotta start backing up just a little. I think we can actually back some of them up because I had the health to spare. My riflemen are probably gonna get decimated here. There's a giant spoon wave coming. We're gonna kind of split their army in half for a sec so we can let ours regroup a little bit. <laughs> Another spoon charge. Luckily that guy's very slow so if we do have to fall back it takes him a second to get back into the fight. I didn't get it on record Recording, but I pushed the wheelchair guy back quite a ways, so we'll hopefully get a little more damage on that building as we get closer. Our forces have built up again a little bit. I'm just here to create the ultimate weapon out of chickens. It's definitely a little bit hard to time this, but if I get a clear break, I'm going to push through and try and push the uh, wheel guy back. Like, maybe right now, got him? Okay, good. Our army might get close enough to finish off the building. We just needed to get him out of the way. Because if I stand close enough, I can actually hit the building very slightly from here, but the building is so tough now. Luckily, that guy's very slow, so he's going to take a second to get back to where he's actually useful to the other army. I could push forward again. There we go. Friday? What is that thing? I like it. I kind of wish I had the chainsaw chicken before, but I guess we won't go 350 damage. So even at its base level, it's more damage than my reaper. Chainsaw, the great communicator. I couldn't agree more. Very expensive to level up, but we're going to make sure they are leveled up because the more damage this thing can do, the better we're all going to be. So we're going to need to put chainsaw chicken to the test and see exactly what it can do for us. Wow, the enemies are getting so strong now. Okay, there's our first chainsaw chicken. Oh, it's so quick too. Okay, it just runs up there and starts massacring things. It's a huge amount of damage and speed, but it's very brittle. Because of its blinding speed, it tends to run straight to the front line and die like a glass cannon. So while they are strong, they're gonna need some support to be useful. But if he gets his nose right up in there and he's got some defense around him, he's gonna hugely destroy armies. That chainsaw is music to my ears. It's absolutely destroying whatever these things are. Look at him, he hasn't even lost any health yet this time. So I hope I can just get a bunch more of those. Here comes chainsaw number two. We got two chainsaws on the front line. And they're chainsawing archers at this point. That's going to be a massacre. Yeah, this is the toughest building we fought yet, and it is going down quickly. Uh, yeah, last round, this would have absolutely pushed us back and destroyed us. Now we are right up in their business, and I think we're going to finish them off. Just that easy. 4,500 gold just from that. So I'm straight up going to spend 10,500 upgrading chainsaw beak to 400 damage. 2,400, now 2,650 HP. As per usual, chainsaws are our savior. The tricky thing with the chainsaws is they're so quick, they do run to the front line, so they take damage first. Luckily, I did upgrade their HP, so they're definitely a little tankier than they were, so they can at least absorb some of those hits. And I'll run in and tank some on behalf of the chainsaws for a second, and well, that kind of worked. We did, of course, bring a second chainsaw to the front line now, so it's currently chainsawing their building also. Hmm. We have a satisfactory amount of chainsaws currently, but more would always be better. I did hear another one return to the front line. I don't know if we have any tanks on the front line. We're actually about to be pushed back just a smidge. And they're going to get into my rifleman pretty hard. But that's okay. Rifles are there to be sacrificed. I managed to push their front line forward, so now it's just a bunch of archers who are going to decimate my chainsaw, but at least we're going to take out the archers. Then a similar thing again, we're just going to keep pushing them back so we can make progress and build up our army. Then I guess it also wouldn't hurt to upgrade our slam even more so we can push even more morons back. And our reaper chickens are also long overdue for an upgrade. They got a lot more HP and attack themselves. Every little bit of extra damage and tankiness helps, that way we can get them all to bunch up properly and I can strategize a little more. 
And when the chainsaw starts taking damage, we'll charge forward and hopefully free him up a little bit of space. I like his enthusiasm, but he does tend to kill himself quickly. Okay, we got them pushed all the way back. We have at least one chainsaw here on their building, plus all of our newly upgraded units. It's absurd the amount of damage we're doing now currently. Like, 10 minutes ago, this army would have absolutely destroyed us and we just made them look stupid. <laughs> there literally is a meat shield. But who would have thought that this was the ultimate weapon? 